With all their blood and gore, grim subject matters and general unpleasantness, horror films aren't typically the first choice when it comes to selecting options for a family movie night with the parents. Consequently, it goes without saying that if you brought any of these films along to your next family gathering, you will certainly have a lot of explaining to do to your poor parents who you've just subjected to the horrors that await them. So with that in mind then, I'm Ellie with What Culture, and here are 10 horror movies you shouldn't watch with your parents. Number 10. Excision The thought of watching high school sex comedies like American Pie or Superbad sitting next to your beloved parents is enough to make you feel incredibly awkward. Just imagine then what it would be like to watch Excision with them, which takes the premise of a teenager seeking to sleep with someone for the first time and twists it into something much more menacing. Winning a handful of awards on the festival circuit, this cult gem from Richard Bates Jr. follows outcast Pauline on her aforementioned lustful quest. However, it soon materialises that Pauline's tastes revolve around blood and mutilation, something she fantasises about frequently in vivid detail, ensuring you'll never make eye contact with your mum again. In addition to Pauline's devious exploits, the high schooler aspires to be a surgeon, a dream she begins to pursue in a bid to impress her overly controlling mother. We won't spoil how this manifests itself in the film to avoid spoilers, but it does make for a powerful and shocking climax. Also featuring Malcolm McDowell and cult king John Waters himself in supporting roles, this grisly flick is exactly what will get you off the Christmas card list this year. Number 9. Teeth if you thought the sexually deviant aspects of excision sounded disturbing, then you might want to skip this entry. Within various cultures around the world, there is the concept of vagina dentata. If your Latin isn't up to scratch, that essentially means lady parts with teeth. The term itself has appeared in numerous folktales throughout history and has subsequently developed a deeper metaphorical significance in recent years. But in the case of Mitchell Lichtenstein's 2007 horror comedy Teeth, the depiction was literal. When teenage spokesperson for a Christian abstinence group Dawn strikes up a relationship with a fellow group member, she soon discovers that her body has a rather unique way of defending itself from unwanted sexual attention when her companion forces himself upon her. It's not long until more men pay the price for their unwanted advances whilst Dawn attempts to figure out what's happening. Praised by critics for its blend of comedy and subversive horror, Teeth's dark humour may turn the film into a delightful romp for genre fans, but the premise alone will likely make any wholesome parents, especially fathers, squirm in their seats. Number 8. Cannibal Holocaust one of the most controversial and infamous films ever made, Cannibal Holocaust, as its name suggests, is an incredibly hard film to watch on every conceivable level. Containing graphic sequences of real animal cruelty, a notorious production full of mistreatment of its cast and the native Amazonian tribe involved, and seeing director Ruggiero Diodato face obscenity and murder charges, the latter he was cleared of, it should go without saying that this is one film you should think hard about before watching alone, never mind offer it up as family viewing. When an American film crew disappears in an area of the Amazon rainforest known as the Green Inferno, anthropologist Harold Monroe is sent on a rescue mission to find them. But when he brings back the crew's film reels after discovering their skeletal remains, a TV company wishes to broadcast the film. However, Monroe insists on watching the raw footage first, revealing the crew's sadistic actions. Whether viewed as an unapologetic social commentary on Western society and the sensationalism of journalism or purely as an unethical exercise in bad taste and exploitation, the discourse of Cannibal Holocaust is best kept far away from the family living room. Number 7. The Human Centipede 2 Full Sequence whether it's the over-the-top grossness and bleak tone of the first film or the all-out vulgarity and repulsiveness of the third, every entry in Tom Six's Human Centipede trilogy is not recommended family viewing. However, if we had to stress one entry that would quickly get you thrown out, it's the Human Centipede 2. Presented in an admittedly stylish black and white, the sequel takes the sadistic premise of its predecessor to a whole new level of depravity, as it follows the disturbed security guard Martin, who, obsessed with the first film, decides to live out his deranged fantasy of creating his own human centipede. This time, he aims for 12 participants instead of the original's three, kidnapping his guinea pigs from the parking garage he works in before transporting them to a vacant warehouse. Whereas the first film was surprisingly 
tame when it came to its depiction of violence, this entry doesn't hold anything back, showing the primitive surgery in full detail. Throw in some horrific imagery of self-mutilation alongside themes of abuse, and it's not surprising this creepy-crawly horror was initially refused classification in the UK. Number 6. Slaughtered Vomit Dolls Yes, you heard correctly, and if the name of this film alone isn't enough to tell you exactly why you shouldn't watch this bizarre experimental horror film with your parents, then stick around to find out more. The first instalment in what director Lucifer Valentine has dubbed his Vomit Gore trilogy, with fourth entry Vomit Gore 4 Black Mass of the Nazi Wizard landing in 2015, this film is as utterly bonkers as it sounds. Structured around the loose and surrealist narrative of bulimic stripper-turned-prostitute Angela Aberdeen, who, after turning her back on the church and running away from home, descends into a world of Satanism, murder and drugs, this film is not for those with a delicate disposition. Repulsive imagery, grim violence and, you guessed it, a whole lot of vomit made all the more unsettling with the film's low production quality and distorted sound design awaits you here. With each entry in the series getting even more sickening, convincing your parents this is an art house project isn't likely to hold up. Number 5. Grotesque as a subgenre of horror, torture porn is home to some of the most extreme examples of cinema, with one of the most stomach churning being the aptly named J Horror Grotesque. Unlike other torture porn heavyweights like Saw and Hostel, Grotesque, which sees a sadistic unnamed doctor kidnap and brutally mutilate a couple for his own twisted satisfaction, was refused classification in the UK outright by the BBFC. Labelling the film a spectacle of sadism that posed a risk of harm to the public, board director at the time David Cook stated Grotesque presents the audience with little more than an unrelenting and escalating scenario of humiliation, brutality and sadism, with minimal narrative or character development. Considering Koji Shiraishi's film features malicious and explicit acts including and in no way limited to severing limbs with a chainsaw, eye gouging and disembowelment, the film is in fairness pure unadulterated sadism at its sickest. Earning a mixed critical reception on its release, this notorious movie will earn you deservedly concerned looks from whoever you subject it to, especially considering you probably shouldn't have a copy of it anyway. Number 4. The Bunny Game Directed by Adam Raymeyer, who co-wrote the film alongside star Rodleen Getzik, who portrays the titular Bunny, The Bunny Game is another example of extreme cinema from the notorious torture porn category. But instead of revelling in visceral and over-the-top gore, this intense film focuses focuses solely on the sexual and mental abuse of Getzik's drug-addicted prostitute character when she's kidnapped by a serial killer known as Hog and forced to participate in the eponymous game. Despite earning praise for its atmospheric and effective cinematography and editing, with Getzik being praised for her harrowing and emotionally raw performance, this is another film that found itself under fire from the BBFC for its perceived eroticized depictions of sexual abuse. However, what makes this low-budget shocker noteworthy is, aside from the drug use, everything shown on screen is not simulated, meaning what you see is real. Alongside on-screen sex acts, Gexic has her head shaved, is suffocated and gets dragged across the desert. The most gruesome of all, though, is that she is branded on her back. Getzik has since stated that part of her soul did die when making this film. Now that's commitment to your art. Number 3. Martyrs 2008 when it comes to extreme horror, you don't get much more extreme than what's known as French extremity. With no restrictions on their taboo subjects, films like High Tension, Inside and Irreversible have left their gruesome mark on contemporary horror cinema. None of these films are what you'd define as pleasant viewing experiences, but none come close to that of Pascal Logier's Martyrs. Not to be confused with the critically panned remake, the 2008 original sets its tone immediately by showing a seemingly inconspicuous family being massacred in cold blood. It's soon revealed, though, that the family were harbouring a dark secret involving the torture and abuse of girls, including their killer Lucy. But when one of the family's current victims is discovered, the film veers in a whole new and twisted direction. With its strong themes of childhood abuse and trauma alongside its grotty imagery, Martyrs is truly deserving of its extreme label. Number 2. Ginger Snaps No matter your age, discussing puberty or anything of a sexual nature with your parents will always be an awkward situation. For this reason alone, it's best recommended to avoid watching critically acclaimed cult favourite Ginger Snaps in their company. The first part in what is now 
now a trilogy. Ginger Snap sees us meet sisters with an obsession for death and all things macabre, Bridget and Ginger. However, when Ginger is mauled by what turns out to be a werewolf one night after having her first period, her body begins to go through certain changes. Namely, growing excess body hair, sprouting a tail and developing an insatiable appetite for human flesh. Much in the same vein, Teen Wolf used Michael J. Fox's monstrous metamorphosis into a werewolf as a not very subtle parallel for puberty, Ginger Snaps is the female equivalent, but with a lot more blood, dark humour and a central focus on themes of sisterhood that gives this tasty horror film just as much heart as it has bite. A genuinely fun and unique horror film, Ginger Snaps is best watched with friends as not to find yourself in any unwanted conversations with your parents. Number 1. The Last House on the Left, 1972 out of all the deviant and grotty subgenres of horror cinema to emerge from the 1970s, none are naughtier or nastier than the rape revenge film, and none have been more controversial or impactful than The Last House on the Left. The feature film debut that kick-started the career of the late horror legend Wes Craven, this low-budget exploitation flick initially follows teenagers Phyllis and Marie, who are kidnapped and taken to the woods by a gang of escaped convicts, where they're subsequently humiliated and abused before being killed. Following their atrocities, the gang make the mistake of seeking refuge in Marie's home where her parents discover their actions and consequently enact their own grisly revenge. Although recognised as an influential classic, its notoriety and content still leads to an uncomfortable viewing experience unfit for family consumption. And that concludes our list. If you can think of any other examples, then please do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there, and I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Little Child. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.